Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to um, today's um, hello, Sandeep. Our Wiz IQ support is there. Welcome to Moodle Mook 3. And this is um, today's live online session. And we're coming from Cyprus. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Nelly Deutsch. Hello. And um, I'll be in the background. I'll be adding uh, to the chat in pink. Okay, so uh, pink is my color, but it'll look like I'm coming in as far as the participants as Fari. All right, so uh, this is really exciting because it's not only about Moodle, but it's also about teaching online, connecting, and the human aspect of teaching which is what the presenters are bringing in to each of these live online presentations. I also want to remind you that WizIQ provides support, so take advantage of it. If you'd like your audio set up or anything else, just contact support and they will provide you with any help you need. In addition, there is now a WizIQ desktop that you can download. I'll add the link to the chat. And I highly recommend that you do. It's a lot faster and takes less bandwidth. It's only for Windows, so if you've got a Mac, you'll have to wait. Hello, Tom. If you could add in the chat box where you're from, what you're doing, and anything else about you, that would be great. So feel free to use the chat. I see that my audio is not really sounding very well. In fact, I don't even think if you could you can hear me. Is that right? I don't know if you can hear me. All right, let me make sure that everything is uh, okay here. Let me know in the chat if you can hear me because I be quiet. Uh, and I don't see the bar going up and down. So uh, let's see if uh, we can get that going. Oh, yes, I see that I'm on zero, or am I? All right, so uh, let me uh, play around with this. Hello. So that I can get it going. Uh, it's really quiet. Let's see if I can go into my settings um, and see what's going on here. Everybody can be watching this. I'm recording it. So uh, let's see if we can get the sound. Uh, oh, yes, the sound is really low. So there, let me uh, get that. You should be able to hear me now, or at least I can hear myself. All right, so yes, it's working. Oh, my gosh, it's so loud. All right, so... Uh, okay, now it's working really well. Okay, you should be able to hear me now. Um, great. All right, so it's really important to make sure that we set up our systems, even if it worked yesterday and this morning. It's a good idea to go into your WizIQ. There's a wrench just above my head to make sure that uh, you're getting the best experience that you can because technology is there. It's just we have to make sure that uh, the settings are all set up, not only on WizIQ, but in our own system. Okay, so make sure that the sound, if you don't know how to do this, as I said, WizIQ will be able to help. All right, so let's get started. Today's uh, session is with two, well, actually it's with twins, uh, two sisters from Cyprus University of, I believe it's new, if I'm not mistaken, um, well, you can tell me the name of the university, and uh, let's get started. All right. So, ladies, I'm going to um, take away my webcam, and uh, let's see. You're in? Well, you're not, actually. I thought you were in as co-presenters. All right. So, let me just give you uh, the mic and everything else. Okay, we tested the system a couple of minutes ago. It should be working fine. So let's see, we've got Bolivia. Hello, Rosemary. And we also have, um, let's see, who else is here today? We've got Venezuela. Pablo, welcome back. Pablo, where are you now? Are you still in France? or? And Dr. Remish from... All right, feel free to use the chat. Don't feel that you're disturbing anybody. Your comments are really important. We learn uh, through the chat. Oh, you're still in Paris. All right, good to see you back. I didn't mention the Moodle aspect. There's also the Moodle aspect. There's Moodle for teachers. 
Uh, we keep improving them right now. It's Moodle 2.5, but it will be Moodle 2.6 uh, very soon. In fact, for the June uh, Moodle MOOC, it's going to be Moodle 2.6. I already have Moodle 2.6 set up. It's quite different, so I think that you might want to um, learn 2.5 first and then decide whether you want to go on to 2.6. Oh, you're going to Greece. Oh, with a Moodle workshop. Wow, that's great. Are you going to give it? That's wonderful. All right, so ladies, I'm not able to give you um, any rights. So let's see what's going on. Maybe support can help me. I'm not able to give um, our presenters rights. Okay, Sandeep. So um, maybe you can help me with that. Okay. I'm also using another computer for those who are interested. I'm using um, a PC. And I'm communicating with everybody else on the PC. Yeah, Pablo, now it's Moodle for Teachers. On um, Oh, there I hear something coming through. Okay, great. So you took off. You don't want your uh, webcam. Is that correct? Okay, that's fine. All right, so go ahead, I'll mute my mic and disappear into the. Okay, um, you ladies, I. We heard you. We can hear you. We can hear you just fine. I think they're talking. Yes, yes, everything is fine, uh, Farah. Um, I took it off because I thought, no, you muted it. You took it away. <laughs> you took it away so uh, you can bring it back. Uh, there we go. Yes, now we see you, and I'll mute my mic. I think it's a bit low. Yeah, wait. Okay, I'm leaving. Go ahead, ladies. Internet. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to our presentation. I am Fahrie, and uh, next to me, uh, Zehra. We are from Cyprus at Eastern the UI setting is yeah, top corner where yeah, yeah, yeah. yes yes is the yes okay i went there video setting They say the, they are hearing us, Sandeep. But the video camera is not working, isn't it? Webcam. It's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. Yeah, welcome to our presentation. I am Fahriye, and uh, next to me is uh, Zehra. We are from Cyprus at Eastern um, at Near East University. Uh, we are working as a colleague at the Faculty of Education at Near East University. Uh, let me give Zera to introduce herself first. Hear you loud. Hello. Hello, everybody. Today we are uh, we are very pleased to be with you in order to deliver a speech uh, on that uh, significant platform. 
I am Zehra. I am associate prof from nearest university. Both of us are associate prof in computer education and instructional technology department. We are also uh, delegating distance education program within the institute and also we are the uh, chair of the social research and development center. Actually, our presentation and uh, part of the speech will be uh, based on uh, our uh, center, which is called Social Research and Development Center, uh, which we deal with uh, the integration of the technology in special education and uh, for the life of the disabled people. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we are working on the Higher Education Council for a, as a consultant for a quality assurance and strategic planning within the country. And we are also a member of the um, significant uh, associations such as British Education Research, e-learning association and in the field guides. First. Before uh, dealing with the presentation which is the role of distance education in special education, we would like to mention how online communication which we are in the uh, which we are in the platform right now, how online communication to support collegiality and hear that, as we are doing in here that, we are trying to be collegial, we are trying to be critical friends with you in order to expand knowledge and enrich the professional learning in specific fields. Uh, in, that, in that reason, the role of information and communication technologies in digital age reforming is reforming the uh, division of the knowledge and information in digital age. What we are moving toward being a digital citizen in digital age and being and using emerging technologies in learning, socialization and professional learning in every sector, new tools, new emerging technologies provide individuals to access information, opportunities to engage in the construction of knowledge, create shared mutual understanding which uh, carry us to live socialization working together and being in professional learning process. Uh, what we mean by professional learning and collegiality through critical, uh, critical friendship in that process, there is significant importance uh, to understand that even in any learning process, active involvement is essential. Active involvement and gaining experiences and knowledge from others are very significant for knowledge construction. In that point, active involvement meaning, active involvement meaning, meaning is uh, try to try to be in a mutual understanding, engaging with the task, engaging with the communication with others, as we mean, gaining experiences and knowledge from others, can help us in order to create active involvement is online communication tools. Online communication tools are very significant to provide active involvement to the learning, active involvement to the socialization, active involvement to the professional task. Let me summarize and then go to the
topic. Uh, Faria is gonna uh, gonna continue. When we say the active enrollment, it is important that all we are using so, uh, social networking tools in order to communicate through internet facilities, which is very significant nowadays to construct knowledge based on the social networking tools. Therefore, social inclusion, social presence, and how to be engaged with to the uh, so, uh, by the social networking tools, it's very important to understand how the knowledge is constructed through the social exchanges within the online context. Therefore, to the beginning of our presentation, mainly focusing on to give an idea that we need to think about how to socialize ourselves in the internet by Considering our professional learning, because the essence and the notions of collegiality by the support of social networking tools, we are in the uh, we are in the all the origin of how to construct knowledge through sharing by the impact of, by the effects of, or support of the information technology in order to enhance our collegiality for the professional learning. Uh, do you feel that you are, I, I am going to raise some question before going to further to our discussions. Do you feel that you are a critical friend with your colleagues? by the support of the social networking tools. What do you think about this idea? Because uh, to be a colleague is not like I speak just a few words about our field. It is uh, just uh, speaking densely, sharing ideas in order to enhance our professional learning. Plus, uh, plus we are talking about the social networking tools which facilitate us to be a colleague, colleague good colleague. Yes, very nice. From the, for Bijet, very nice. <laughs> for his paper submitted to Bijet. You are a reviewer in there, isn't it? Or Yes, but it needs to be feedback, should be criticizing in order to be a critical friend. Mainly the people or colleagues think that criticizing is not good, but it is uh, pro facilitating and promoting us to make a balance in our construction of knowledge. What do you think? Ramesh Sharma, for Bijet, are you reviewing there? Ah, yes, me too. Me too. Uh, I heard this name before. Uh, I'm Fahri and there also as a reviewer in the and the we are when we are reading a papers and evaluating papers, we are making a critical reflection and uh, sending our um, sending our uh, reflection to them. But social networking I think provides us how to enhance our collegiality by instant uh, feedback also. This is what I believe so for uh, uh, What we, ha we we should uh, we should uh, try this uh, facilities in the internet how to be a colleague because uh, it is not just think about the only exam papers, but it gives your way of thinking as a direction through the through communicating in online. This is what I believe, and it's uh, it can be evidence that this provides a enhancement for the construction of knowledge. Yes, yes. And uh, apart from this, uh, if we consider the professional learning, we should think about the continual process of learning. Um, 
by by relating it to the lifelong learning because lifelong learning provides us learning to how to know it how to develop it and it is a part of it if we are in a digital age we have to think about how to be a digital colleague how to be a digital uh, researcher i think so what do you think for this with for the digital uh, citizenship in the digital age we have to be oh we have to be a leader of ourselves as a digital reader reality our credit critical shift within the online context we, uh, in addition to this if we consider the social networking as we are sharing in this here we have to consider the uh, some basic theories in order to interpret it and in, or, in, or, in order to facilitate it just I want to share you this theory you can deeply research on it if you heard the chat theory do you heard the chat theory before <laughs> we mentioned about before uh, we um, many teachers yes teachers always to false but we have to be innovative to change our moods apart from the uh, apart from the exam base without forgetting exam we have to add something to our uh, professional life professional learning cycle I think so isn't it have you heard the chat theory um, I, I suggest with Zehra Uh, I suggest with Zehra to consider the online communication tools belonging to the education field, which we try to how to construct knowledge efficiently. Okay, let me just give a briefly what is chat theory. If we consider the chat theory as a dialogue, multiple perspective. We are uh, we are we are uh, underlining. So we have to consider cultural diversity, activity, and engagement, as Zehra mentioned before. Putting the everything into the action. Okay. Let me go through with Zehra. Uh, as far as uh, we mentioned, uh, chat theory is also significant theory in order to underline how online communication tools enrich uh, critical friendship and collegiality in professional learning. Uh, we move to the distance education field which we try to merge the role of distance education in the life of the in the uh, special education in the life of the disabled people education is unlike uh, it's unlike the traditional learning platform it plays significant role to supporting the right of the education for every individual. Uh, it, it shows the significance of diverse educational needs. It creates equal opportunities supporting lifelong learning and integrating advantages of information communication technology to broad scope. These, all these significance are, as we know, diverse educational service to individuals is also significant for the special needs, learner focus education and economy. When we look at the considering the advantages of the distance education provides an opportunity for education 
at the same time everywhere as we are doing right now. Saves in terms of time and space and economy. It creates a diverse learning models and feedbacking for the learners. This is very crucial. Feedback, as we mentioned in your uh, chat box. friendship base for the construction of knowledge but uh, although there are advantages of the distance education there are considering the disadvantages uh, which it's a questionable how social presence and socialization occur problems in overcoming learning difficulties and not being able to control behavioral education and also as I observe, you mentioned the same uh, pitfalls as we say. Let me, uh, until he let me summarize again. Today's in the main focus is how distance education is important for the special education field. We have to aware that education is equal for everyone. If it is equal for everyone, and if there is equality for every person, we have to consider to how to remove barriers for individuals in order to get education or in order to get development for their education cycle. Because if, if it is we are in the lifelong learning process, and if we need to give a services of education to everyone within the equality, we have to consider which kind of warrior we have to If you want to consider the we are in the lifelong learning process, then we have to Shall we say unobstructed information and communication technologies? Yes, uh, and uh, before, uh, before consider, uh, considering the detail in this world, we, we want to share we want to share with you that we we open a create and establish a platform about the um, special need people and disabled people in order to remove their barriers in their social life and plus their education life and the words of uns uns obstructed information and communication technologies is the part of this idea and the platform. The reason of the and the main basis of this platform is to provide facilities for special need people and to remove the barriers of their life and social and education life by the information and technologies facilities. If you want to consider the, we are in the digital age, of course, the use of information and communication technologies provides us equality, sharing and synergy among learners because we all accept everybody is our learners, can be adult learner, can be special need people learner, it can be learner, disabled person can be learner. The main idea is equality and sharing by making synergy among them. And social networking tools, which are the become tool for us to provide worries of learning to diverse learners. And the reason of using the distance education because we, we, we think it's a, apart from traditional ways of teaching and learning, maybe it can be used in a different term, but we use this uh, according to our uh, perception and the assumption based on our the establishment of our platform. It is an alternative as a bridge to the special education and it is a bridge to make unobstructed to information and communication technology for equality. Yes, online learning, but sometimes it can be using a kind of blended learning or it's a kind of a case of a Turkey, which is an open university kind of education. 
Uh, when we consider what is special education, it gives a wide range of uh, support programs, placement for learners who need different teaching methods and learning atmosphere. Uh, it can be a different approach to teaching, the use of technology, which can be adapted to teachings for the benefits of learners. An accommodation and modification can be used, which uh, distance education or as you, uh, as you can say, I can uh, respect your idea, online learning plays a great role in special education. Information, communication and technology become a mediator in special education. And inclusion is very important to achieve through the online learning or distance education in order to provide diversity, inclusive education by the support of online communication tools and opportunities. It can be more faster and easier for using by using technologies, different computer programs, multimedia forms and communication is very necessary for making them social presence in the internet. It can be also economically. In here, the main focus is to diffuse or to promote as an idea is to support disabled or reintegrate the people into the society by equal opportunities and our main role as an educator or academician or researcher in order to find the ways of how to integrate them to this equality platform and how to make them by information technology in a wider vision in order to make them social inclusion and equal uh, learning opportunities. Yes. The main idea is to merge both of them, to put the position of online learning or distance education to the special education, which shows how information and communication technology supports their inclusion to the life. We can give an example from the platform and what we do for that. Yes, sure. In order to be more uh, practical, in order to be more practical and more fluent presentation in that issue, uh, we can give an example from our platform, which we mentioned uh, at the beginning of the presentation. Uh, we try to the online. We try to serve online learning seminar, online seminar to the uh, disabled people in order to understand how they socialize their lives with technology, how they integrate their, um, how they integrate technology into their lives. This is very significant and it was very productive presentation for them that uh, they learn uh, technology is not a is not a means of their uh, life. It is a facilitator of their uh, of their lives in this society. In addition to that, this is one of the examples that we try to experience with them. Uh, in, in addition to that, we organize a big panel and workshop for the disabled people in the society and we organize 15 uh, presentations which experts in the field uh, present uh, for the disabled people who are the kinds of presentations are about online social networking, uh, distance learning and obstacles, and also uh, 
for every category of the disabled people, we try to explore how technology can fulfill the their lives. Of course, in there are, if we consider our content case. If we consider and turn to our case, how we merge uh, online learning, distance learning with the life of the special education people, special needs of the people. Distance learning become a, a popular preferred method which provide opportunity in terms of equality, but also it is very uh, crucial question how we address web pages, how we develop web designs and how we create interactive uh, web pages for disabled individuals, we, whether it is efficient or not for them. In order to provide efficient standards of education for them, there are some uh, points to concern and research. It shows we need to be focused more, we need to produce more for uh, the lives of the disabled people in order to integrate technology as a facilitator in their life. What are the focus that we are need to investigate it, intro, introduction of existing distance learning opportunities, reforming existing distance learning programs, essential designing criteria, which I mentioned that interactivity is very significant, mm -hmm. special and specific guides should be organized in order to provide direction for efficient use of different forms these uh, disabilities. These are the things that we need to investigate and explore the research focus. Okay. Some this kind. There are some kind of. Uh, there are some kind of uh, disabled categories. Blindness which we need to focus different category of the creating online learning platform, visually yeah, handicapped, yeah, uh, technology. we should think alternative technology we should for each uh, category. Streaming, stammering, is one of the okay. Şimdi bunu da söyle. Tamam da zara. If we consider our let me again. If we cons if we consider the our um, context mainly. If we are a re if we are a researcher in our context, we should analyze our need. We should. Need, which we should make need analysis our context. The mainly there is a very preliminary stage of considering how to integrate technology with the uh, special need people and disabled people. And as far as there are said about the we need to some policies, we need to some reformation of or some kind of program software system in order to upgrade the life of the uh, people who need uh, special care by the support of the technology. Therefore, uh, our idea is to support through the distance educational online learning platforms for reintegration of them to the society as a priority. Uh, by this platform, uh, it is very important to think about how to employ them through the higher education programs. Uh, or by short-term seminars and programs, if we consider the academic side of development. That, but the basis, basic side of this uh, context is necessary for to upgrade information communication technologies facilities for the arrive in order to make them social, in their social inclusion, engagement, 
uh, by underlining the importance of technology and synergy, social networking, and the main thing, empathy, in order to make them to, to be in a bridge of how unobstructed information and communication technologies make them their life more easier, more faster, more qualified. Because they need a career, they need an equality. And if we consider we are in the digital age, we have to use the facilities of this digital age by giving hands to other people who need special needs for their life through the online learning facilities, social networking facilities, by the impact of synergy and empathy. This is um, briefly what, what we want to point out with Zehra. I want to... Uh, I want to underline the last words about this. It, it should be if we are in the social exchange of dialogues, teamwork activities, we have to be innovative. We have to be considered how to uh, revamp ourselves to be a hand of others. What I am using in Turkish, I am going to translate you in English uh, to the people who need to spe special needs to uh, in their life. One candle cannot uh, stop its light. Lose light. Do you can you read in Turkish too? No, no, it's fair to speak in English. Speaking, speaking English, to, uh, um, it's better to speak in English to be fair to everybody, I think. Uh, one candle cannot stop its light, if or lose light, if can, if can be a light to all others. Do you understand this? This is very important. One candle cannot lose its light if can be a light to others. This is the idea of what can be a synergy for people, for equality uh, among uh, and accept them as equal to others. We can be light for others because we cannot lose our, our lives if we can be a light for others. This is very important. As far as we are an academician researchers, we have to be first take our role to support the social, uh, societal, societal factors and efforts to diffuse our knowledge and experiences to others. And we have to be a good colleague good critical friend to support the works of others and we have to be a bridge as a metaphor I can use you as a metaphor these are also medium of learning like a technology we can be a bridge to others uh, for, for empowering and enhancing their learning at the main pillar in our society and, and to all other societies, special need people. And we believe that uh, they ca we can support their lives, we can make them their life by uh, using the information technology, facilities of information technology. There are lots of softwares, programs, uh, which can make them their life more easier. And we are a researcher and academician which can we share these opportunities with them and that provide for them. Um, they need this you, help. And, Zara, and our field is you, uh, uh, mainly Zara, is that, about, that, about the online so learning the and teaching. Part. That's why it's I am really there uh, trying to uh, facilitate and, and these seminars and uh, this kind of things uh, through online to, to them. 
you know, if you have in your order candle, to uh, with, help them see as a light. If you share but it with others, they, they need first and they empathy and synergy. So this is what I think. Get thousands of can no, it's not yes. Thomas, he says the Buddha. Uh, okay, this is all about what we want to share hear. with. Um, I hope uh, it's so gonna be helpful. Um, uh, together, colorful presentation. Uh, Bring so to much you. to one another, and that, that's And the last beautiful. thing that I want to tell that metaphoric interpretation um, is very important in learning. What, that's uh, why I use the candle doing for the ending of my presentation. I know doing a lot. Thanks for your um, patience and, and, I and think listening. That working with and to be a, um, I hope to be a good colleague and critical friendship. Who are accepting. I that think we are established from now on and, with uh, you. Special individuals are very open. Let to me there as, uh, because they see its immediate effect, where okay. the so-called normal or non-special, even though everybody is special, um, do not see the value. Okay, all these people yeah. are very happy. To accept technology and, and then you get regular teachers that are not open to this and do not want to use it to um, improve learning so i think that maybe this is one way of bringing you know the idea of using technology to so-called uh, traditional teachers maybe this is the way everybody hear me I think the uh, the volume is a bit low again on my end. Uh, let me uh, see if I can fix that. No, the volume is uh, is fine. I don't know. Keeps going up and down. Thank you, De Jibril. Thank you for joining us. I know that English is not your first language. And I think that's also a very important point that... Um, there are a lot of participants whose English yes, sure. is not their first language, and uh, and yet they're here to learn. So thank you there. Uh, Fira and uh, Zara have shared their emails, and, and they are, they're very eager, and I think this is uh, very important, okay, eagerness to want to share. So Zara and Farah, have you joined the, um, the MOOC? No. Please join the MOOC so we can continue. Thomas, are those the links that we can continue there? Um, Thomas has added a link to, um, do you see it? If you go into the course feed over there, we can continue the discussion even after, after the class. Okay, great. In addition, if it's not too late for you, uh, Andrew Weil is going to come to us from Cyprus, from Cyprus, from Australia, sorry, from Australia. So uh, in about, I think, two hours. And he's also going to be talking about a very important aspect of um, learning and how we can bring our students To understand that it's about learning and not about the content and I think that was mentioned yesterday uh, a few times during the connecting online sessions uh, Stephen Downs uh, mentioned it a few times as well that it's really important the learning process the experience is more important than the content or the information so it's about experiencing learning <laughs> and connecting for learning and not so much the end result which is the exam or the content okay everyone so um okay. i'd like to thank you thank you susan i think you just came now or maybe not um thank you for joining and thank you to our presenters for presenting thank you so much bye bye thank you